Hey guys, welcome to episode number seven of Louder. The last couple weeks we've been talking a lot about who God is and what he's like. We're going into a section now talking about what God actually does. And of course, to start that, we have to go all the way back to the beginning of creation. That God created everything that we see today. And we're going to talk today about what our response to that should be to the creation around us and to the people around us. So let's get started. The world and distractions are constantly getting louder around us. What if the gospel rose above all of that? Join us as we challenge ourselves to know God more and to make the gospel louder in our own lives and in the community around us. May the gospel get louder. So growing up, I used to play with Legos all the time. I would sit in my room for hours every single day, digging through these huge bins of Legos, trying to find the pieces that I want to be able to make all these different things that I wanted to make. I still play with Legos a little bit today, but I still remember the joy that comes with having an idea of something that I wanted to make and then starting to put these pieces together and finally finish it and then be able to go and show my family and show my siblings this fun new creation that I made. Now, I, I made something here recently. It's a little starship, spaceship, airplane type thing. And the funny thing is that I think that each time we come up with an idea for something to make, um, whether it's with Legos or art or different things like that, it reflects our personality. I love airplanes, I love space, all those different kinds of things. And so this reflects my personality. And every time we make something, it reflects who we are and it points back to its maker. In such a greater way, creation, all of creation, all the universe points back to God. As God created everything with just a word, it points back to him as the author and creator of all the things that we see today. I want to share a passage with us that talks a little bit about that. It's in Colossians chapter 1, verse, starting in verse 15. It says this, He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers or rulers or authorities, all things were created by him and for him. All things were created by God and for God. As we see later in scripture in Revelation, it talks about that it means that we are to worship God, that he's worthy of being worshipped because all things were created by him and for him. And so what is our response to that supposed to be? As we go around our everyday lives, interacting with people, interacting with creation, how should that affect the way that we treat creation and people? How should that affect the way that we view ourselves as people made in the image of God? There's value. There's value and dignity that comes with that. So I want to challenge you guys with something real quick. How are your actions and attitude affected by seeing and living in the beautiful creation that we are in today? How does it affect our actions and attitude toward the people we're surrounded with each day, recognizing that they're made in the image of God and created by God and for Him? As we can often get frustrated with people, annoyed with people, lose patience with people, how can we still treat them with the dignity and respect that they deserve being made by God? And then how does seeing the beautiful creation, and the universe, and even the people around us today drive you to worship God more? If you're not seeing fuel around you to worship God and point you to God, then I think you're missing something. Because just like this Lego creation points to my personality, all of creation is pointing back to God and driving us to worship Him. So I challenge you today that as you look at creation, as you look at the world that we live in today, as you look at the people that you're surrounded with, how can you appreciate those people and value those things around us and have that be fuel to be able to worship God more. So here's the last challenge. Make the gospel louder by worshiping God and treating the creation and people around you with the dignity and respect they deserve being made by God and for God. So that's all I have for today. If you haven't already seen it, I have a devotion that goes along with this video. If you have not received that, email me at stevena at gracecc.net and I can send that to you. For those middle school and high school students watching this today, we'll be meeting tonight at 7 p.m. on Zoom, so make sure to get the link for that. It should be in your emails. So hopefully we'll see you tonight. Hope you guys are doing well. We'll see you guys soon.